everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Angelica here. If you're new then come in, have a seat, have several seats. And if you're not new, thank you for having me once again all up on your screen. This is a spilling the tea video on investment banks. These are some of the investment banks that I have either interned at or attended an event at. The first firm is Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs is an interesting one. When I was there, the firm really just had the word meritocracy written all over it and it had a very eat what you kill feel. I felt very inspired and the firm had a strong sense of culture and network. For instance, I went to events which were held by the women's network, the black network and even the CEO was able to attend a town hall to address members of the firm and they kept on telling us that their greatest asset is their people. I'm not going to lie and tell you that Goldman Sachs isn't extra competitive. That firm is so competitive. In some ways it was a bit overkill at times. They really care a lot about branding. That's one thing that they did not let us forget. Like even on the last day they kept telling us like don't post anything on LinkedIn. If you have to post anything on LinkedIn just literally don't say anything besides intern at Goldman Sachs like don't don't share we don't want you speaking on our name <laughs> but it was weird because it's kind of like are you ashamed to say that you like you work at Goldman Sachs like that's actually like a really big deal but I guess because of the industry things are kind of a bit sensitive following 2008 so they had a lot of senior women that I love Goldman because of that but that's not the vibe you get when you think of investment banking you think of men and testosterone Goldman Sachs held a dinner for LSE students so they do like to cultivate meaningful relationships I was able to meet LSE alumni that work at Gorman JP Morgan so I've never interned at JP Morgan I wanted to do a spring week there but they rejected me so um, this is not going to be a favorable account I'm joking I really love JP Morgan I've been there like I want to say probably like nine times I've been to like so many events and insight days and they've invited me to stuff and they partnered with LSE they held a dinner for LSE students that I was able to attend I think it was like eight other LSE students that have chosen to attend that dinner I've been to simulations they've taught me new skills how to trade <laughs> how to trade in this the fake fake trading uh, scenario. I feel like they have a bit more of an emphasis on like teaching you as opposed to like expecting you to be like the finished product. I feel like they value uh, people who are curious even if you're not necessarily like you know Wolf of Wall Street. There's a stereotype that like to get into these top firms you have to be perfect but I don't think that's the case for JP Morgan. Barclays. So Barclays is my baby. <laughs> Barclays I've interned at in my first year and in my second year when I got into the summer analyst program. I've done M&A both times at the firm. Barclays is really proud to be British. They really hammered that home. <laughs> They are so proud to be British, I guess because like, you know, the market is dominated by non, non british like it's the only British firm, even though in some ways they have had their culture kind of, you know, remixed a little bit. They recruit people from all types of backgrounds. It's got a very collegiate feel. When I was there, the CEO, Jess Daly, he came to a town hall and people were able to ask questions and you know learn from more from him and I was always go to team meetings and learn from my team members. Merchandise is a bit wishy-washy. My first year they gave me a really nice bag like a gym bag, notepad, bottle, they gave me that thing that like you know the thing the thing that you put on your foot is it called the pop socket? Merchandise was on point and then year two I go back for my summer analyst program I don't even think I got a notepad I don't know what happened they probably just said you know what there's no budget for that this year you guys are gonna have to just swallow your saliva and <laughs> call it a day because we've got nothing to offer like I love merchandise because I love like having like things to take away to remind me of my experience and I felt like you know what happened there like what happened there? Barclays really cares about networks and so does JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs. I can discuss this in another video but they partner with a lot of like charities and organizations. First time I went to Barclays it was through an organization that was holding an insight day for girls who are interested in finance. BlackRock, 
I love black crocs so much that is my baby I know I call Barclays my baby I love black crocs so much um, and I interned there on two separate occasions I interned there one summer and I interned there for a spring week black croc has one black croc written all over it it seems like a company with lots of companies it's black rock but there's so many divisions underneath and they're all working towards one goal they really care about making impact retaining their network so that's why i've been able to go back to the firm i've probably been to black rock like eight times for like different things different sessions it really does feel like home for me even if i'm not gonna end up <laughs> Maybe, who knows, one day I could end up like doing something with BlackRock, like a project. Like even if like, you don't want to go into asset management, there is room for you, there's space for you. If you play your cards right and you make the right relationships within BlackRock. Merchandise is lacking. I'm not even going to lie. The merchandise is weak. Their merchandise, <laughs> their merchandise game is so weak. Like All I have in BlackRock are some pencils and a notepad let me just see if i can find it it's like if you have paper like this that's like glued at the top together and you have the word black croc that is the merchandise that i was able to get and i had to go out of my way to get that in the first place <laughs> so like first time i interned at black croc i was like where are the water bottles <laughs> like i was like where are the jumpers, the water bottles, where are the keychains, <laughs> where are the fidget spinners? I kind of feel like it's because like they are BlackRock. They already know like we've got this in the bag. We don't need to scream about ourselves. We don't need to do the most. Like we are BlackRock, period. <laughs> period. Rothschild. Out of all the firms, it gave me the most elite I have arrived <laughs> feeling. Like I felt like, wow like i went there for like a, a women's insight day i felt like i was at a finishing school <laughs> i felt like i was being watched i met a girl there i really wish i like kept in touch i feel like i probably still have her name in my notepad i think she was doing a master she was telling me like you you are like too apologetic about yourself like stop saying sorry <laughs> she was like stop saying sorry that evening at rochetown was a really like interesting experience to say the least like i felt like do you know what if i was to work at this firm it would be excellence period no room for anything less than excellent it's competitive but like it's such a genuine place and i really like the fact that there were so many senior women well of course there would have been senior women because it was a women's event but like i didn't expect to see that many women working at the firm morgan stanley seemed very like structurally rigid for some reason the security guard had his eye <laughs> on me and everyone else when we walked in um i feel like it's probably just because like it's a bank and he's like who are these kids like why are you here yeah, individually it was like a really nice place um they weren't like too warm in the sense that like they weren't like oh my god this is such a nice place like we love it like i feel like when people are like over the top about how much they love their investment banking job they're kind of probably just trying to sell it to you they were very much just like keep it real like they were honest about their jobs i'm not gonna lie morgan stanley does give me bad vibes because i'm pretty sure i once applied for something there and i never heard back it's like it was a ghost application it was a ghost that looked at my application because till today it's probably been like probably three years i never heard back and it wasn't even for the spring week it was for something totally different and i feel like they do that a lot because i've spoken to a few people that have applied subsequently and like they just don't they just don't tell you <laughs> kind of really know by them never getting back but that's just like a bit off brand deutsche bank i went there like three times and it had quite a relaxed environment i don't know if it's probably because i only went to like the client section but it was a really lovely like bougie firm the client part of it looked like some kind of like seven star hotel like it looked so nice okay, maybe not seven star maybe five star but it looked very like grand and there were like mirrors everywhere like, the interior was just so nice as far as the work that's a different conversation i can't really tell you much about the financial accounts or anything of that sort 
um, no tea, no shade. It didn't really seem like super like busy, but again, it might be due to the fact that I was in the client section. Um, Deutsche Bank does have a very obvious commitment um, to social impact and this has had an effect in the lives of people I know. So for instance, that I have a dream internship which has been going on for quite a few years. That's a really good program and I know a few people that have been on that internship. It also didn't really seem so cutthroat in, in comparison to somewhere like Goldman Sachs. But then again, it might just be my experience. Um, obviously, again, I didn't do m and there. So I don't know what it's like if you work in m and in Deutsche Bank. Even though I actually have like two friends that work there, I think. I have definitely at least one friend that works there. Um, yeah, so I don't know about the workload. But um, it just didn't seem like such an uptight environment in the ways that other firms seen when I first walked in. Deutsche Bank has partnered up with organisations that have made a difference in my life as well. So finally, Citigroup. City, first things first, is I got lost trying to find this firm in Canary Wharf. I remember walking around for like 30 minutes. I arrived 20 minutes early and I was walking around for 30 minutes, so I was late because I couldn't find this place. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but the map and the firms aren't on good terms because like you can end up getting lost even though you're just like two minutes away from a firm like the, the map just tells you to go somewhere else I think I might have been there twice but I've definitely been there at least once and the firm just had like a really clean feel like I can't I can't even explain how and why but it just seemed very clean <laughs> not that other firms were dirty but like it just seemed like very like spacey and they were supporting an organization which happens to be a charity called SEO London that I'm a member of um, and I was there for a masterclass learning about finance and we had a networking session so they care about social impact and they foster relationships and networks as well I know there are other firms that I haven't mentioned but I just have never personally experienced these firms like by being in the building although I know people who work there and let me know if anything surprised you about this video don't forget to connect with my other social media channels and leave a thumbs up I'll see you all in my next video bye